Here we go. Game number three underway. Pappas and Park finding themselves down two games to nothing. And things not looking real strong for the team of Pappas and Park. Lafredo and Colignon playing outstanding foosball so far through these first two games. Shot down the middle. Rattles into the goal. It's one nothing. And even the mistakes are turning out yep. rosy for uh, Lafredo. You know, he missed a shot earlier. It came right back to his three bar. And you see right there a blocked shot that goes right in. Pappas coming back, passing it through, setting it up in snake shot position. And welcome back, Brad Anderson. Oh, good to be back. And welcome back, Billy Pappas, who fires that one home. It's 1-1. Well, he's got a fresh start in this game, so I think now he can probably try to develop a rhythm, and who knows? You know, he's been down before. He can, he can rally back. I mean, he's a good momentum player when he's got it. You know, right now this is going to be key, how uh, Todd's able to score on Trevor, how Trevor's going to be able to block. It's just one of those situations where you're down two games to just let her fly. What do you got to lose? And that one rattles into the goal. A break for Pappas and Park. They could certainly use a couple of those. It's 2-1. Fredo coming back, setting it up. Todd has been shooting the ball very well. That continues here as he strokes home that long pull shot. It's 2-2. Two -two. Billy's gone back into that real tentative style of play on the five bar that hasn't been successful for him. Todd brings it across, sets it up in pull shot position, and will go ahead and utilize a timeout. <laughs> Todd Lafredo puts the ball back into play. Looking for a 3-2 lead, shooting against Billy Pappas. Fires it again, squaring it off down the middle. Pull shooter's best friend, and it's 3-2. Sure is, and he hit that with authority, too. And Todd Lafredo, I mean, he's got absolutely one of the legendary pull shots, but he's been shooting the ball extremely well. It's explosive. I mean, he, I he's, he's, quick, he's quick to the long. It's a and solid shot. Trevor Park, very quick to the long right there. It's now 3-3. Well, we saw him play in Kentucky this year as well, playing the forward position for Steve Viney, and he played extremely well. And it's like a new challenge for him. And that one rattles into the goal. It is championship point for Lafredo and Colignon. Todd Lafredo about to win a major title playing the forward position. I mean, Billy, Billy should be up front right now. Excuse yeah. me, Brad. But Todd's stroke really looks compact and really tight. Almost on that last pass. Almost looked like an adjustment perhaps before the pass. No call was made by the official. Didn't matter. Back comes Trevor Park passing it through. Setting it up. And trying to go to the far side. There's Colin Young to make the block. It remains 4-3. It is championship point for the team of Lafredo and Colignon. Trevor's the one with all the energy right now, trying to make something happen. Billy's kind of lethargic. Trevor Park continuing to get the ball and continuing to score here after the pass. No, now it's the time to stay. It's he four, just showed four. something. And Park knocks down that pass, but it comes back to Lafredo. So a window of opportunity here, although it may be a brief one, as Lafredo now with a chance to win the championship. Billy needs to feed off of that and maybe step up his defense. If he moves this slow way like this, Todd's going to pick it. Todd Lafredo wow. strokes home the pull shot. The 2008 Hall of Fame Classic Open doubles champions are Todd Lafredo, the forward, and Frederick Colignon, the goalie. What a performance from this team. They took it upon themselves as a challenge to put Todd Lafredo in that forward position to see if they could win a title, and they do. A terrific team. I mean, just one of the best of all time. Great job. For, you know, congratulations to them. And Lafredo, you could say now that he still has it.